The origins of Tai Chi Chuan are lost in legend. We do know that it was developed in China over a period of several centuries and drew upon various martial arts styles. Also incorporated were age-old principles of Chinese medicine concerning circulation of the blood and the mysterious physical, spiritual substance called Qi. Known in Japan as Qi, in India as Prana, and in ancient Greece as Numa. Some scholars credit the 12th century sage, Zheng Sung Fung, with inventing the Tai Chi system. It is said that Zheng Sung Fung developed the classical Chinese dance after watching the sparring movements of a snake and a bird. Neither could defeat the other because each could yield to the other's attack. Most styles of Tai Chi Chuan trace their lineage to Chan from whom it was passed down through various families over succeeding centuries. One of the most prominent of these was the Young family. The more contemporary master of the Young form was Young Chung Fu, whose influence was the greatest in the 1920s and 1930s. One of Young's most accomplished students was Chung Man Ching, a renowned scholar, poet, painter, calligrapher, and doctor of Chinese medicine. In the early 1960s, he came to the United States, accompanied by Liang Dongcai. Liang Dongcai, known as Titi Liang, was born in Hobei Province, China, in 1900. He was introduced to Tai Chi at age 12. Liang joined the Maritime Customs Service at age 24 and served as a high-ranking official for over 30 years. When he was 40, Liang suffered from a liver infection and pneumonia and was given two months to live. In order to regain his strength, Liang undertook vigorous Tai Chi practice with Professor Chung. In 1963, he traveled to the United Nations as an interpreter for Professor Chung Man Ching, where they gave their first official demonstration of Tai Chi in the United States. Leong's teaching career was launched at the United Nations and took him to Taiwan, England, and numerous colleges and universities in the United States, including Harvard, Amherst, Massachusetts Institute of Technology, and Boston College. Leong has taught over 3,000 students to date, in 1981, Liang retired and moved to St. Cloud, Minnesota to be near his family. He is now 89 years old and he continues to teach and write. Although Tai Chi is based on ancient philosophies applied to another culture and time, the implications of Tai Chi on modern Western society are impressive. Titi Leong has said, Today, everyone is so aggressive. No one wishes to yield. Everybody wishes to take advantage of others. This is common in all societies in all countries. If everyone learned to relax, yield and lose, if everyone learned not to be aggressive by following the principles of Tai Chi Chuan, society's problems would be neutralized. Everything in Tai Chi Chuan has an equivalent in the philosophy of Lao Tzu or Taoism. Lao Tzu said, Nothingness and something create each other. Back and front follow each other. Tai Chi practice, when he advances, he feels the distance incredibly long. When he retreats, he feels the distance exasperatingly short. Lao Tzu said, it is imperceptible and its usefulness is inexhaustible. Tai Chi practice, outwardly one appears peaceful and quiet, but inwardly one concentrates the spirit of vitality. Lao Tzu said, the softest thing in the world can override the hardest. Such a thing seems to issue forth from nowhere, yet it penetrates everywhere. 
it gets responses without calling. Tai Chi practice. Induce him to advance. Neutralize his oncoming force until he becomes powerless. Then use four ounces of energy to deflect a momentum of 1,000 pounds. When a person studies Tai Chi Tuan, they will repeatedly hear and read the words, sink your chi, learn to lose, yield, non-resistance, and abide by the Don Tian. To abide by the Don Tian is to respond from one center, from one source of inspiration, security, and spontaneity. To abide by the Don Tian is to accomplish the other four principles. Abiding by the Don Tian can only be done through the imagination. Titi Leong has said, when you are a beginner, you should pretend that you have the skill of a great master. You imagine that as you push, your energy is directed by the mind and follows your intent. You imagine that your center of gravity falls below the floor and you will become firmly rooted. The mind directs the energy, or chi, and in doing this unites the body and the mind. And imagination becomes reality. Oh. Uh -huh.